the tragedy of Margot Miller weighs heavily on our minds. Caught in the mysterious fire that torched the academic offices of last semester, poor Margot suffered smoke inhalation and she remains in a coma to this very day. So before we start the year afresh here at Colvin College, take a beat from your privileged lives and join me in solitarity. A moment of silence, please. While the police interviewed a handful of suspects over the summer, they ultimately determined that the fire was accidental. Sure, because 100-year-old buildings just randomly combust in the middle of the night. Rumor has it that Margot may have ignited the fire herself. Perhaps a desperate cry for help gone up in flames. I don't know, if you ask me, she always had a flair for the dramatic. Back at it with the hard-hitting journalism, I see. Oh, hi, Allie. Cat. Still pushing fake news for easy hits, Alvaro? Isn't that what got you kicked off the paper? My conscious uncoupling with the collegiate press is what gave me the freedom to launch my own news site, which blew up this summer. Photoshopped pictures of Margo in a coma? Yeah, that's not news, that's gossip. Oh, good. You follow the Colvin Cauldron. <laughs> Thanks for the views. Okay, I can't with him. Then don't, come on, can't be late. So, how are you feeling about the history of lying seminar? Are you dying? You know I don't do that level of emotion. Yeah, I know. I just hope it lives up to all the hype, you know? Like, I know everybody was wowed by Professor Moynihan's The Evolution of Truth and yeah, Lying Speech. Because it was amazing. Because all of his students think that he's some sort of supreme guru. Like, they have this crazy initiation ceremony every year, and apparently some of the kids get, like, matching tattoos. <laughs> Cat, it's like a cult. <gasps> Cat! You're gonna be in a cult. <laughs> I just wish you were in the cult with me. I mean, I don't get it. If anyone here knows about lying, it's you. You know what I mean. Oh, yeah, I guess my application just wasn't what the professor was looking for. Of course, I'm bummed I'll miss out on that secret society level of prestige, but you'll fill me in on all the good stuff, right? Promise. Alrighty, I'm out. <sighs> now, promise me you'll talk to one new person today, just one new friend. Mm-hmm, yeah. Cat Carlson, I presume. The contract. Is this standard? Well, this class is anything but standard. A hundred students would kill for your spot. Participation is a privilege that can be revoked should you fail to meet the academic standards. Standards that include punctuality. With this contract, you agree to meet all requirements. It also says that all research collected in and for this class shall remain the exclusive IP of Dr. Moynihan for all future uses, professional, academic, and so forth. You would do well to remember that, Ms. Carlson. I'll collect those contracts now. So what that guy, his lips are permanently glued to Moynihan. Good morning, class. Welcome to the history of lying. I'm Professor Moynihan. I believe you've already met Simon, my trusted assistant in your TA for this quarter. Studies have shown that on average, we are lied to more than 200 times a day. That means currently, lying is integral to the fabric of our society. And yet from a very young age, we are told not only to avoid lying, but to avoid even thinking about lying. Starting today, we will do the opposite. We will look at the history of lying as well as its future, namely my trademark cuff technology. We will study lying not because we believe in it, but because by knowing it, we can lead others to the light of truth. And this is crucial, because no one wants to live in a world where there is no such thing as truth. Now, technology has changed lying, and as such, we are changing this class, evolving it. Thank you, Simon. In addition to traditional homework, you will be assigned video journals, or vlogs, as I hear you kids call them. 
which will potentially put you in the public eye. But before we get to the facts, let's start with a simple truth from each of you. Of the 300 students who applied for this course, why do you believe you deserve a seat at this table? No volunteers? Kat Carlson, why are you here? My best guess, because I co-host Suspect, Colvin's first and only true crime podcast. In a way, I've already proven my interest in the subject of lying, and especially how it pertains to crime. Thank you, Kat. Now let's hear from someone else. You, tell me your name and why you're here. I'm Wilson, and- Just Wilson? Come on now. We're practicing complete transparency in this class. Okay, technically I'm Trip Wilson, but nobody calls me that. And I'm here on the merits of my essay about the better lies that caused the financial crash of 2008. I spent all summer working on it. <laughs> Are you really suggesting to your peers that you qualify for the most prestigious course at Colvin based on the merits of an essay primarily sourcing Wikipedia? Does the truth always scare you so much? Oh, whatever. I'll just say what everyone's thinking. My mom, everyone knows she's a major donor to the school and that you're working with her to develop Cuff. You probably owed her a favor. All right, who's next? Harper Vince. As a student of social engineering, I'm pretty good at getting people to do what I want. Erica Phoenix Sanders, performance artist. My art may make some people uncomfortable, but it says more about you than it does about me. Alvaro Villanueva. Some may suggest that I'm the ultimate truth teller, laying out the secrets everyone else wished was left in the dark. But I believe I'm here because I'm on track to graduate at the top of my class next year. Though, unlike some, it's not because my parents paid for that privilege. Naya Santos. As future lawyer for the disempowered, I've made it my mission to hold those in power accountable. That includes you, Professor. Uh, Dan Rowland. I, I don't really feel comfortable making assumptions as to why you selected me. Benedict Mondragon. People underestimate my sister Belle and I because we're social influencers. But it looks like you understand the true value of knowing how to connect with people. I'm Bella, Benedict's sister. I think we're here because Professor wants to do free twin studies on us. Interesting insights. But I regret to inform you that you're all wrong. There is a singular reason you are all in this room. You're all suspects. Suspects in the arson that destroyed my office and left a student in a coma. And while the authorities have washed their hands of the investigation, I know without a doubt, somebody in this room started that fire. There will be only one A given this quarter and that will go to the student who solves this crime. As for the guilty party, you will have to suffer the consequences of your actions. Now, if anyone is feeling particularly worried and would like to withdraw, I'll tear up your contract right now. But rest assured, dropping out does not take you off the suspect list. It places you at the top of it. Well, it looks like my tweet spilling the sweet tea of the unique structure of this year's history of lying has unsurprisingly gone viral. What the hell happened in there? I don't even know where to begin. 